because this seemed a lot like game three and, and the way that they were able to go inside and kind of dominate the paint. Uh, is there an adjustment out there, and, and what do you guys need to do to kind of work that? Yeah, we definitely got to uh, make some adjustments as well. Got to get more healthy now. You know, it's going to be tough for us to win, you know, if <coughs> everybody contributes. You know, both of those big guys had 24, Conley had 15, 13. Tayshawn really got off uh, early. You know, the first two games in L.A., Tayshawn really didn't get going, so we got we to gotta contain somebody. Chris, uh, Matt pretty much uh, challenged you guys as Brian uh, and Mary. Uh, said that you guys got punked in these last two games. First of all, do you share that sentiment? And secondly, how disappointing is it that it's going to come to that this stage of the season where yeah, it, sh it shouldn't come to that. It shouldn't come to that. Um, you know, nothing's malicious out there, but it's it's a dog fight. You know what I mean? Both teams fighting for their playoff lives, and I think we gotta approach it that way. Um, not gonna give us nothing. You know, them, the refs not gonna give us nothing. The other teams not gonna lay down, and we gotta come out and be ready. But that's that's why you work so hard for the home court. You know, because now we gotta go back to LA. These two big guys together on the team, the Grizzlies. Uh, is there any big couple of big guys that, that you play that you play against that, that matches them in your opinion? No, I, I've said that the All Star weekend. I said that during the season. That synergy is uh, it's pretty amazing. You know what I mean? Debo on the inside, and big fella Mark. Uh, that's another guard. You know the way he passes the ball and shoots the ball. But um, you know you just gotta you gotta run him. You gotta run them. You gotta try to get them tired. And I think just leaving in a rocking chair. So I think we gotta make them a little bit more uncomfortable and, and play our game. Chris Andre Johnson, MentorSports.com. Um, looking at Zach, and of course a lot has been said about uh, Zach of two years ago, how he came out at 22 points per game. Does, does he sort of remind you of the Zach from two years ago, particularly when they eliminated the Spurs in, in the open round? I apologize. I don't even remember back that far. <laughs> so um, Zach can play. It don't matter about two years ago. It don't matter about a year ago. It's about what he's doing now. Um, How disturbing is it that you had a game to win in the second half in this way? Tough. Tough. We, de we definitely had a game to win. Down four going to the fourth quarter on the road. When you lose like that, it's tough. You know what I mean? I didn't want to come back here by any means. By any means. So uh, now, now we have to. It is what it is. You move on, get ready to play game five. Chris Mark Allen from Seven Thirty Yahoo Sports. Do you feel like you're gonna have to take more shots for this team to be successful? Uh, I don't think so. How many I take tonight? Uh, I don't know, man. I, whatever we have to do to win. So if the cost of that, I will. If not, you know, at the end of the, the end of the game, I just want to make sure we got more points in there. You know, whatever, whatever that is, whatever that cause for going into game five, we're going to do it. Because our team feeds off me and, me and DG, so it's up to us. As much as your students are game, why did you win the Um, Man, it was just a little spurt there. It's like a, a minute, two minute spurt. And I remember, I was talking to Chauncey about it on the bench when they got away from us right there, sort of in the fourth. Uh, they got it to the bonus. You know, that, that's been the biggest thing, the, the two games here. It's getting them, those guys into the bonus early, you know, nitpick style here in the post and stuff like that. Now you can't be as aggressive. It's already a grind out game, but now, you know, you, you just got to be tough. So we got to be smart and uh, manage. Chris, they've uh, used the most different defenders on you. Has Pondexter in particular today, did he uh, do anything to disrupt your rhythm? Did his length bother you at all? Just ask him. That was my rookie, so he asked him. Blake, what do you guys have to do better to get more rebounds? I mean, that's been a, something you guys have talked about for the last two games. We're all serious before the first two games that have not worked the last two games. What has to be done to change that? I think just, you know, for a rest of the jump, we need to be a bit more aggressive team. You know, we need to hit first. This, this series is, is, is physical, extremely physical. So, you know, Sometimes it's hard to find that line of physicality. You know, it, it's a thin line sometimes between phys being physical and, and then fouling. So we need to find that line. You know, we need to be aggressive. We need to push it. And we need to not worry about, you know, this guy getting in foul trouble. This guy just going to play. We're out of depth. Take care of that. Sugar Girl 
ones or minority. I saw a lot of technical files out there, a lot of uh, just mental anguish that was, uh, you know, the, the team didn't have the cohesion that they usually have uh, when it's trying to execute. What are you guys going to do moving forward to kind of uh, move things forward and uh, really kind of pull together as a team? Um, you know, the, the, the technical files things, uh, yeah, we had a defensive three seconds in the, in the lane, and that's a technical. But other than that, I didn't, I didn't see any technical fouls, so um, I'm not, I'm not sure what. Um, well, I just saw like a lot of players were just aggressive in nature, just, just mentally frustrated, just kicking, just uh, not really, uh, you know, having um, uh, executed properly there. So uh, you know, just trying to see what what you guys are gonna do, come kind of come together and move your angle towards. Uh, I mean, again, I didn't see any, any of our guys kicking anything or anybody. So, um, you know, we, like I said earlier, we, we just have to, to be the aggressive, the more aggressive team right in the beginning, and, and, um, not take the first hit, but, but give the first hit and then move forward. But um, and, and be aggressive. That's that's our mindset going into the next game. It seems like uh, Matt kind of called everyone out there in the locker room, uh, mm -hmm. challenged you guys to try it a little bit, and, uh, go on certain terms. Uh, first of all, do you share that sentiment that he said that you guys got punched basically the last couple of games? Do you share that sentiment? And also, how disappointing is it that it's kind of come to that at this point in the season where that has to be questioned and challenged to get you guys going a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I get that. Stretches we were okay, but for the most part, that, that's not how you come in and win a, a, a road game, a, a playoff game, for that matter, um, home or away. So it, it, it is disappointing that it, that's that's what happened. But you know, at the same time, we're, we're we are capable of bouncing back from something like this. It's not it's not the end of the world, just like it wasn't the end of the world. You know, down the stretch of the season when we, when we dropped a couple of games, we just have to find that and uh, get back on. It. Blake, Cook said that uh, you and him need to be more aggressive. Um, you guys both played throughout this time, but what can you guys do to get somebody else involved in the match? If you have three starters on the score, two points, all five Memphis starters, you know, were in double figures. Um, you know, it, 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 again, it's a fine line, I think, between being more aggressive and forcing the issue. I, I, I do feel, I know I told him you know, from the beginning of the game, be aggressive, be aggressive, and he said the same thing to me. And, and, you know, at times we did an okay job, but you know, I need to do a little bit better job. Uh, and we need him to score the ball for us to be successful, especially when some of some some guys that, that we you know rely on for points aren't, aren't shooting as, as well. Um, but you know, really, it's, it's really it, it starts on the defensive end for us. You know, and, and not allowing second chance points, not allowing so many points in the paint. You know, we did a better job taking care of the ball. Our team did. Um, I, didn't, I didn't do a better job, but you know. It, for us, our mindset needs to be defensively rebounding, fighting out, making sure we go the offensive class and then push, put pressure on them. We'll ask Kevin and then one more question. Uh, like there was a period in the second half where it looked like the team made an effort to get you the ball on the move. You had a nice dish to DeAndre, <coughs> a couple layups. And then the team will kind of get out of that basically, get back to the wrestling match with that. I'm just wondering how important it is, how important it is to you to, to see the ball on the move when you, you know, depending on who's your athleticism versus just sumo wrestling. I mean, I think it, 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 it in certain times of the game, certain lineups, um, you know, being on the move and, and trying to create a shot, creating shots for other players um, is, is, is what I need to do better. Um, but, you know, it, it, it starts it starts with really getting into our offense, you know, and really executing every play we run. You know, a lot of times, I mean, it, it's not so much of the play we run, it's how we run it. You know, the, 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 the right intensity, the right flow, and moving the ball from side to side, things like that. You know, it's not so much, you know, throw it in or, or you know, keep it, keep it out and set a high, high screen, pick and roll, whatever it is. It's about how we run it and we do a better job.